Hello, this is Till from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce to you a new add-on that I just found out, which is called the Pipe Raider. Let me know about the web page for that. Guess, here it is. And this is something that I just found out, which I think is pretty cool. And I'll show you how to install it and use it in Blender. Now you just go through the process of downloading it, and I'll provide a link of the download in the description below this video. And then you go to edit, then preferences, and then just navigate to where you've installed it or saved it on your computer. Click on install, navigate to it, and once you've done that, it doesn't actually like come up like a regular add-on does. Let me type in pipe rater, or just pipe. Usually when you type in the first four letters, it'll come up. But in order to see it, after you've installed it in Blender, just click on testing. And there it is, that's pipe rater, so just click on that to activate it. So let's close this out. And you'll see us off to the in the tool panel over here. Let's close this back out also. Now the way it works is that it pretty much just randomly lays out pipes on whatever surface you put it on. And there are two things you have to keep in mind when you use it in Blender. The first thing is it lays out pipes on the side where the normals are facing. And what I mean by is by this, let's delete this cube, delete that. Then press Shift A. Then I'm gonna create a plane here. Click on Plane S to scale this up. I'm not using the shape or the um, screencast keys uh, until I find a really good one because the one I've been using has been crashing Blender quite a bit, so I've just avoided using that. So once I find find a reliable one, I'll start using screencast keys again. Let's press Tab on here. Let's go to Edge Select. Left click on that. E for extrude on the z-axis and pull that up with your mouse and from here let's see where our normals are facing uh, to see where they're facing let's click on that arrow to the drop down menu and then let's click on that icon let's make this a little bit bigger now you can see the blue lines are facing inwards and because the blue lines are facing inwards when we use the pipe rater the pipes are going to end up being on this side of your face as opposed to the outside. And if you want to change it from the inside to the outside, you have to flip the normals. And to do that, you just press A on keyboard twice to select the whole mesh. And then go to mesh, and then down to normals and flip. And it'll, when it's flipped, the normals have been flipped, they'll, the pipes will be placed on the outside of your mesh. But let's go back to putting them on the inside control Z okay let's tab out and go back into object mode and let's expand it let's see how pop pipe rater works let's see what it's all about let's click on pipe rater and the second thing that will affect your pipes is how your mesh is subdivided or how many subdivisions your mesh is working with right now it's just two this one and this one so it'll just have a connection of one pipe going from here to here so let's add pipes and that's and it even gives you a warning probably not enough free f uh, faces available which it would be two so let's delete all the pipes click on the mesh again go into edit mode and we're going to subdivide it so let's press A click subdivide from this menu let's crank it up to like five we don't want too many pipes because the more subdivided your mesh is the more pipes you'll have five click enter and let's turn off our normals here so we don't have to see the blue lines won't, that won't be distracting uh, click on that and then let's deactivate that that looks good and let's go back into object mode and let's add the pipes again add pipes and it's added two pipes you can increase this because the more faces or more subdivided your mesh is the more pipes you can add and to find out the parameters to adjust the pipes width is just right down here click on that and let's let's go to number of pipes let's increase that to let's say I don't know six and then we get more pipes and all these parameters they're pretty much self-explanatory but there is just pretty cool <coughs> I got a twisted pipe there that's different you can change all that and the thing with this add-on 
maybe because it's in the early stages of development, is that you can't specify exactly where you want the pipes to be. Let's say you wanted pipes, like a row of four pipes here only, and not on the bottom. It doesn't really do that. It just randomly places a circuit of pipes wherever it can place it. So let's see how that works. Let's go to, let me see, uh, the offset. And the offset makes the pipes go up and down in terms of where you would want it positioned uh, above your mesh. Because the higher you increase your offset, the higher the pipes go. And if we decrease that, the lower the pipes go. And you can see how it's randomly kind of placing the flanges uh, where it feels it should be placed. And the random seed, this is where you can just, it just kind of randomly puts the pipes, lays them out on your mesh. So we pull this up a little bit, you can see it just kind of scatters the pipes in a, you know, it's a, it's a pattern, but it's not a specific pattern in terms of where you want it placed. It's just a pattern. So it does that. And if you want to kind of make these pipes a little bit smoother, because it, it looks, it is a little bit jagged around the, the band here, you can increase the resolution. Right now it's at 10. Let's increase that to 23 and you can see as we increase the number it gets a lot smoother and looks a lot better uh, the flange probability that just places the flanges randomly wherever pretty much so you increase it and it starts to put more flanges on the pipes you can increase that a little bit more let's just let's just slide this and see what we can get and it adds the flanges you know the higher number I think it only goes to one but the higher the number the more flanges will be on the pipes. Let's decrease that so it can look a little bit better, not as cluttered. And then the support period, those are the support beams under the pipes. You know, in, in real life when you have pipes placed high above uh, a surface, you want to have some support underneath them to keep them from busting. So let's see how that, this, this is kind of iffy. Sometimes it seems to pull up the support uh, not nods and sometimes it doesn't. But let's just see if we can pull them up now it's not really coming up now but okay there, there it is yeah see is this is still kind of an experimental add-on but it still works great it still looks pretty good so if you want to create maybe pipes underneath the house for you know construction model this is good for it factory uh, kind of setting these this uh piper to add on would work great uh, the radius increases the the radius of the pipes so you can make them bigger or thicker. Let's let me see. They get thicker, and the and the flanges and the uh, support. Uh, I guess I'm going to call them support beams. They appear and reappear according to how thick or thin the radius of the pipes are. So let's decrease that, make it smaller. Excuse the flanges. <coughs> excuse the flanges. They come back. Make the radius a little bit smaller. Yeah, so it's not a bad, it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice add-on. It gives you pipes instantly. It's a random circuit layout when you place them, the pipes are, when the pipes are placed, but it works. So yeah, this is not, not bad. If you want to get rid of these relationship lines, all you have to do is go up to this little uh, icon here, click on that, and then click on, let me see, you can turn off the origin. And you can turn off the, let me see, is it extras? Oh, relationship lines, there it is. Turn that off like that. And you get these pipes, and it renders out great. You can add your own material to the pipes to make them more realistic. But yeah, this is a not a bad add-on. It works great. It's, like I said before, depends on when it comes to the layout the, of the pipes. Depends on where, where your numbers are facing. And also depends on how, many, how subdivided your mesh is. And besides that, it works pretty good, and the layout of the pipes is pretty much random. You can't specify exactly where you want the pipes to be on your mesh, but it works works pretty good. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip, which is the Piper to add on. And uh, thank you guys who have watched this video, and thank you guys who have subscribed, and those of you who will still subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.